So I've been mining the Casper cryptocurrency. It's been going pretty well. Some of the most lucrative, profitable, passive income beast machine monster miners, whatever. But now, one of my miners broke. Why? Today, I'm gonna to try to figure out what happened with my Ice River KS3M, if I can fix it. And I'm just sitting here wondering, did they do a bad job with the thermal paste from the factory? That's a common complaint. Are the chips overheating? They are running series. So basically, if one chip on the hashboard goes down, it'll probably bring the whole hashboard down. I overclocked it. <laughs> Did that do this? When it comes to mining, sometimes I'm a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I have the older firmware on it, but it's broken. So let's try to fix it. So I was looking at my miners yesterday, the hash rate was low and I remoted into it, found the hash board was down. I restarted it a couple times, but hash board one refuses to operate. I am running the overclocked firmware on this. Did that do this? So let's go ahead and download the updated Ice River KS3M firmware. This is from Ice River's official site, iceriver.io. Uh, you can always ensure you're on the right site by using our link down in the video description below. Uh, we do have an affiliate account with Ice River, for whatever it's worth, and a coupon code. But I bring this up because there are so many scam sites, impersonator sites, and whatever else. Uh, please be careful. So many people get scammed on mining rigs, what seems to be daily. There's just a lot of bad actors targeting uh, new buyers. So. We downloaded it, we open it. This is what we're looking for. Now let's go back to the machine. Let's go to firmware upgrade, select this file dot BGZ. So remember, right, all this loads. These miners are ASIC miners. They're application specific integrated circuit miners. The chips on them are actually called ASICs. Uh, the C stands for the chip part and these are purpose-built machines they're custom computers that all they do is mine cryptocurrency they function essentially as like your robotic employees so if i go over to nicehash and i look for my ks3m on here it's only doing about 28 dollars a day it's supposed to be doing like $35 a day after you pay a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity bill. So it cost me seven, eight dollars a day to run. So we've updated the firmware. Let's go back to the home page. Miner's not responding. We did reboot it. So maybe being a little impatient here. Casper mining has been pretty crazy and it operates a bit different than some of the other cryptocurrencies, right? It's like it pumped huge, then all the other altcoins that were mineable started pumping, and then Caspa was actually pulling back, and then those other coins dump, and then Caspa pumps. It's almost like it's operating inverse a lot of the other mineable altcoins. Uh, and it doesn't show a clear correlation uh, to Bitcoin in recent history, or at least not as much as you would expect. Uh, super quick technical analysis. Let's check out the three month chart, right? We see pumped in February, basically. Bitcoin pumps in March and it's been sideways slash down. So our miner is back online. Good. While we wait for this thing to fire up, let's talk about some other interesting cast mining developments. So if we look at this hash rate chart, it's crazy how difficult it's become to mine Caspa and yet it's still a incredibly profitable and lucrative coin to mine. These miners are carrying a huge premium. Cast was putting out about $1.5 million of newly mined coins per day. Caspa reduces its emission monthly and it's actually about to step down again. These reductions are very large, reducing each block reward from 116 coins to 110 coins. It essentially halves annually. Actually, excuse me, I'm getting one month ahead. It's 123 CAS uh, per block, and then it's reducing down to 117. If you're looking for a cheaper CASPA miner, 
Goldshell recently released their KA box. Mine's been performing pretty well in initial testing. And I'll show you some of my data right here. I've been testing some other mining pools with it, but you can see that on average, I averaged about 187 giga hash a second, right? So that's about 1.08, 1.09. Uh, terahash a second on this device. Reportedly, it's supposed to be 1.1 terahash a second. I do have a early, like before official release model on it. Uh, so I've got the early firmware there on it still as well. Uh, but you can see that it's been mining somewhere between like 63 and 67 Casper coins per day. Or I guess it's 1.18. I'm about 0.1 away from where I'm supposed to be on the hash. These things are selling out everywhere, including ASIC Marketplace, who's a sponsor of the Bosscoin YouTube channel. But the biggest sellers in the mining industry right now are continue to be the Ice River KS3M. Uh, and so they've got stock of that. And I'll link that out down below. And I'll also put our coupon code down there, which is better than any code you'll find on their site. If you want to go and grab one, right? As always, you do whatever you want to do. One other thing on the topic of miners, Bitmain has moved the KS5 Pro pricing up to over $40,000. Remember in the US, if you order directly from Bitmain, you also get hit with a 25% tariff. That is going to cost you more than $50,000. Yeah, so what if it mines 150 bucks a day or whatever in Caspa? That's gonna take you quite a while to make it all the way out to fifty thousand dollars i mean let's go you know 365 right yeah it's less than one year break even it's how they normally price their stuff lately but that's quite a gamble with the emissions going down the mining difficulty going up and it's a huge sunk cost into that device what if it breaks then what nightmare fuel so the first blip of life we get here on the KS3M after loading the new firmware, which also removes the overclock firmware, is we do see some hashing on board one. It is the lowest performing hash board out of the three. Is it already crashing? Is it limited performance? Time will tell. This is really good initial performance. Uh, we can see that all three boards are still hashing. Board one is not crashing, if, if at least not yet entirely. And uh, we have a five minute hash rate of six giga hash a second. Remember when we were down a board, we never got over 4,000 giga hash a second, which is four tera hash a second. Out of the box, this is supposed to hash at 6,000 giga hash a second while consuming 3,400 watts of electricity. So hopefully this miner will now limp along. Whatever Ice River did with their firmware, for example, adjusting these miners in a way that they can run on a diminished performance hash board instead of just having that board completely crash. My to-do list is a mile long. So if this thing is working within say 80, 90% of where it's supposed to be, I'm not pulling a hash board out. I'm not repasting it. You know, th th that's at least the decision I I'm making personally for better and worse, unless I fall upon a bunch of spare time. But it's been it's been a while since I've ever seen anything like that. So that's a myth to me. So maybe a combination of removing the T-Swift overclock as well as the new firmware is the, gonna be the ticket for me. If I can get this thing back online, up, operational, stable, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not adjusting a single thing on it. Let it run, let it eat before CASP emissions go down. And also hopefully amass more coin before CAS continues to go up and up and up in price or maybe it crashes and you gotta get it now while you can. I don't know, but I know that I think the, fu the near future for cryptocurrency looks very bright. I think that it's a very exciting time to be in crypto, to be a crypto miner. And I also would like to absolutely denounce, I've been playing Civ 6 recently, the Ice River dashboard. There's no minor log information. There's no useful information from this. You take its direct competitor, the Antminer KS3. I get a ton of incredible, useful information to diagnose how that miner is performing. And if it has an issue, to give me some clues as to what is going wrong. Yeah, by the way, if you have not seen this announcement yet, you should follow your boy on Twitter if you're on there, uh, is Ice River announced a next generation Caspa miner. And apparently it's coming soon and it has greater performance. Uh, how much better 
How many different models will we see? Is this a direct competitor to the Antminer series? Will they come in at a much lower price? I, I don't know, but it's it's interesting. And, uh, you know, forget the Ice River name, Casper Mining is heating up. And another data point here is we've hit 20 minutes of runtime. Uh, we can see all three hash boards are still hashing. Their hash rate continues to go up. We've got a five minute hash rate of 6,058 giga hash a second. And I was not watching this really closely the last time I restarted, but I did check back after 30 minutes and hash board one had crashed. So the 30 minute ticker is gonna be an interesting mark uh, for us here. I'm probably gonna go eat lunch right now and then come back and check it. It'll be around an hour of uptime. Uh, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed if we make it over 30 minutes, we're doing better than we were before. I'm worried about this miner, but I'm hopeful. All right, it's been about an hour and a half since we restarted this, and the performance shows Hashboard 1 is still performing significantly worse than the other Hashboards, but it is, it is still running. So it is still working an hour and a half later when it was failing within 30 minutes previously. And now, that's a quick 25, right? About two hours out. Hashboard's still working. Hashboard one's still worse, but online. This is a big deal because when you look at this hash rate, this is like I just turned on nearly 10 Ice River KS0 Pros. This is a lot of Caspa mining hash rate. So this is good. I'm happy with this. It's gonna be a few days before we're able to get this edited and posted on the Boxcoin YouTube channel. So if you don't see me again here in like three, two, one, then it's been continuing to perform like this. I will update if the hashboard crashes anytime soon or any notable difference in the performance. So that's the latest scoop. I'm Boss here on the Boscoin YouTube channel. This is Tail. She's our CKO, our chief Casba officer, baby. <laughs> the uh, last coin YouTube channel. Share the video, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. I hope to see you uh, tuning in to the next one here as well.